So, what is your BMR and how to use it? Once you have decided how you want to track your nutritional food intake, either by IF or macro tracking, next you need to know what is your BMR. So your BMR is your basal metabolic rate, and it's quite easy uh, to sort of simplify it. Basal means basic, um, metabolic is the metabolism, and rate is just the rate of that metabolism. So the basal metabolic rate, which basically means how many calories do you burn per day just by being you? If you were sitting on a couch and being a couch potato, the amount of calories that your BMR would burn is exactly how many calories you would burn. And they're the calories that you burn because you're being alive. Your body takes a certain amount of fuel from you every single day just to live and breathe. Why? Because you need to know how much energy you are spending per day just by being you. This doesn't have to be an exact science but if you were eating too much or too little each day, this may explain why your body isn't changing. Your BMR or basal metabolic rate is a reading used to determine how many calories you burn per day when at a standstill. Yes, you actually burn calories just by being alive. This equation is worked out by taking your age, height and weight in kilograms and sex into account. This gives you your BMR. We then take that number and times it by your activity level. This number is determined by how often you move and how, how active you are and then multiplied by your BMR. Depending on your activity level, you will multiply your BMR by either 1.2, which is slightly active, 1.5, which someone who leads an active lifestyle, or 1.7, which is very active, and 1.9, uh, has a physical job and trains four to five times per week. So within those four numbers there, guys, the one represents the BMR, your BMR, and the 0.2, the 0.5, the 0.7, and the 0.9 represent how active you are. So you have a certain amount of calories, which will help you figure out in a second or in a moment, um, but we, you, we all burn a certain amount of calories, and that's basically going to be times by how active you are during every single day. And you're gonna work out your calorie amount from there. This is also important, uh, might I add, uh, for the people who are doing the IF. Um, it's really important for you to know how much you're actually burning per day because you may be over consuming or under consuming the amount of food that you actually uh, may be intaking up until this point. Um, so that's also important too. Uh, so, if, for example, a typical rating of um, a 31 year old male who's 181 centimeters and uh, weighs uh, 83 kilograms, uh, his activity level is 1.9. So he has a very active job um, where he's on his feet all day. Um, and he also trains for four, maybe five times a week. Uh, this could be at a gym, this could be outdoors. His BMR would be 1,811 calories per day. So his basal metabolic rate is 1,811. That's what he burns just by sitting still. Overall calorie intake per day, including his exercise, so his basal metabolic rate times his exercise rate, which is 1.9, would be 1,811 times 1.9, which would give him an overall reading of 3,441 calories. And that is how many calories that that individual male would be consuming per day. Um, and he would neither drop um, or add on weight if he consumed that amount. Also, this is looking um, at the fact that he is being active every day. So if he was active five times a week, but the other two days a week, he, he wasn't as active. He would probably have to adjust his calorie intake. Uh, otherwise he would start to find that he's putting on um, additional weight because he's consuming too many calories.